See? So why does he say then that many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake? Because now he's reading right to the end. Okay? This is to the time, this is where Michael stands up to start tribulation of trumpets, when there's the battle against Satan. This is when Satan is cast down. It's the time of trouble since there never was. And then you have everyone that's going to be delivered. And how do we know that the rest of the story then explains? Well, listen to what it says. In verse 4, it says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words of this book and seal it till the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro. And what happens? In verse 6, he says, um, it says, and one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of these wonders? You see, what's he talking about? How long is this going to be? This time of trouble that never was since it all began. How long is this period of time going to be? And that's when he tells them a time times and a half which is the two and a half years of the second half of trumpets, leaving one year of trumpets when the Lord returns feet down, right? When the Lord returns feet down, and what happens? Then many are resurrected and so forth, right? When are they going to resurrect? Well, let's prove it. Listen to what it says. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Didn't we just prove that in the Daniel last video we did in Daniel? You see, when does it get accomplished when all this is finished? Then what did it say? When, when, when this time happens and this two and a half years is finished, what did it say? Then the books would be open, those that were lying in, 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 the, in the graves, right? Listen to what it says. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when he shall listen to this begin to sound the mystery of god should be finished at the seventh trumpet so at the very end of the sixth trumpet to the very beginning of the seventh as the, the lips are at the trumpet and it's just beginning to blow the mystery is over why? Because at that point, the war against the two witnesses will have finished that lasted for two and a half years. And what happens? Huh. At the same hour, a great earthquake. So the seventh trumpet or the sixth trumpet ends with a great earthquake before it is finished. That's the Lord returning feet down. <clears throat> the story of Satan and that portion for him now being bound for a thousand years will begin. And what does it start with? At the very end of the sixth trumpet, to the start of the sounding of the seventh, it's going to start with a great earthquake. What do we know happens at the great earthquake? Huh. Matthew 28, verse 2. And behold, there was a great earthquake. And the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came back and rolled away the stone to the door. And his countenance was like lightning. Because it's a representation of Christ. Remember Matthew 24? His discourse was the same at the coming of Christ. What is it going to be like at what? At his coming? Lightning cometh out of the east and shineth unto the west. He's going to be as lightning from one end unto the other. Every single part of this stuff, every part, every piece is telling us that the resurrection of the dead is at the end of the sixth trumpet. Even here, them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. And what was Daniel even told? To wait till the end. That he would stand in his lot at the end of days. It's, it's awesome to understand these things. 